Hey Cancer, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a quick reading for you guys. Just a quick little reading. I'm going to do um, a few Oracle decks and see what I get and some tarot cards. And just see how it all comes together. Joy and delight. Open your heart to joy. Alright, so there's something good coming. In the flow, everything is smooth sailing. Okay, so maybe that's why joy and delight is... Uh, here because everything is starting to become a little bit easier for you in the flow stay in focus navigating by the stars and fellow travelers I don't know for a reason for something in the flow and navigating the stars and fellow travelers makes me feel like maybe you guys are moving uh, maybe you guys are or vacationing or something to do with movement okay because just because for some because all those cards are like movement cards but then you have stay focused hold the course so like Maybe you have your eye on, like, um, something specific, right? And the universe wants you to stay focused on that goal. Don't sway. Don't let other people take your mind off of that. And don't let other situations or, you know, any type of, like, blockages, like, stop that, okay? Keep on pushing forward in the direction that you're going. You got the Page of Pentacles is learning something new. Okay, this can also be saying that if you're taking a test or if you're waiting for some type of message to come back because this is a messenger. So maybe you took a test or waiting for an apartment, waiting for a job, waiting for some type of promotion, something to do with like a test, driver's test or whatever the situation is. It's like good news is coming for that. Two of Cups could be a new love coming in for you too, a new love offer. If not, with the Page of Pentacles and then the Two of Cups, you can see it's a new love, a, <clears throat> a new offer for a career, a new love offer for a job. Wheel of Fortune tells me that there is an ending of a situation or ending of a cycle, right? But it isn't really always bad for an ending. Change is sometimes needed, and well, most of the time it's needed, and it ends up being a good thing, you know? I feel like this is sometimes being stuck in um, situations that we don't want to be, and it's finally about to be over for you guys. I feel like things are going to are already starting to get better for you guys. You guys got the full also, so you got the Wheel of Fortune and then the full right next to it. An ending of a cycle and a brand new beginning, like, boom, right away, right? Not even no time. <laughs> yeah, tower at the bottom. Change, change, change. I just said that, right? What else? One second. We found a baby bear. Sorry about that. We, for the past three days, we found a baby starling, and then we found a baby chickadee yesterday. Well, my son, RJ, and then he found another baby chickadee today. Outside. There, I guess the moms are all pushing them out the nest, right? New journey. <laughs> okay, you have the judgment and the ace of swords. I feel like you're finally starting to see through um, things right now. This is also talking about getting a promotion, moving on up in a career, right? And I feel like this is, whatever's happening for you, you're already starting to see it because you got joy and delight, you know, navigating the stars, follow your bliss. So whatever you're really into, whatever you're really passionate about, go for that. Support is all around you, fellow travelers. So everywhere you go or whatever you're doing, you have people that support you, okay? And um, the Ace of Swords is just telling me, listen, you know, you've been through a lot. You've been through hell, right? Uh, but you've, like, this is triumph. Like, you made it through and you made it above. You matured. You, you grew. You know, lots of growth. This is also um, the judgment. This, is, this may be legal matters. I don't know. But I feel like it's the ending of this, right? And then we got the judgment card. It's also about uh, making a decision. The angel is saying, okay, right now is the time for you to go ahead and make a decision. I don't know if this is about, like, this new offer that's coming up for you to be able to make a decision about that. That's what I really feel like it's about. Um, this new offer that's coming in for you, definitely going to have to make a decision. Um, I'm going to pull some Wisdom of the um, House of Night for you guys. The long game. Yeah, you are where you're at. Where you're, no, yeah, of course. You're where you're supposed to be right now. You are exactly where you're supposed to be right now. Don't doubt it. You got a message at the bottom of the deck you don't even see coming in. It's at the bottom, right? Something that you don't know. There's definitely a message coming in for you. I keep on saying that. You got belonging. I'm going to read that. Okay, it says, come and enter the house tonight for when you choose this symbol, you have joined us in a community of beauty, friendship, and secrets only shared and known among my chosen ones. You are chosen to belong. The symbol also tells you that you are in the right place right, place right now. You are home. Be at home inside yourself. Learn to be comfortable in your own skin. When you choose this symbol, know that I, Nick's goddess of night, have chosen you. You have understanding. 41, 43. Okay, it is time to... No, it is one thing to read something or to hear something, but it's another thing to truly understand something. You're being asked to keep an open mind and open heart. 
Allow yourself to absorb information as you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that can only come with time, patience, and perspective. Try to get outside yourself and imagine what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. To understand is to have power. And then we're going to do the message thing because I know that was... Yep, the very next card too. Okay, maybe someone will text you something nice or you'll find out something nice in a phone call from a friend. Perhaps a letter will come in the mail. Or maybe I will send you a sign of nature that I will point you in the right direction. Regardless of what you ask, you will soon know the answer or at very least know the way. A message is coming. Choose another card if you need to know what the message will be about. I'll just choose another card to find out what it's going to be about. Okay, strength, deceit, reminder. Reminder is learning something and not trying to do the same thing twice. I think this has to do with deceit. So if there's a person coming back and trying to give you their, their offer again, and this is a person who's, um, you know, betrayed you in the past, do not give them another offer. The reminder is saying you learned the lesson. Do not repeat that again. Um... And then the strength card is like, be strong, okay? Be strong and do not give in to their offers uh, um, for this person, okay? For this person that hurt you in the past, okay? Ace of Swords, look right through them. Do not pay attention to what they got to say. I feel like you are already happy right now. Don't let them come back and, and mess you up, okay? Whoever this is, love, friends, doesn't matter. Relationship, coworkers, bosses. Don't let them take you off the road that you know that you're supposed to be on, okay? Don't let them sway you from your um, new journey, okay? You got so much better. All right, so thank you for watching, guys, and have a good day. Toodles.